the Apostle Paul himself had to make a great change in his worldview. He was himself a destroyer of life. And he had to make the leap from looking at the world in one way when confronted with evidence that that particular way was offending the God he claimed to know and serve. Heart, soul, mind, and strength only to discover that he was destroying the people of God. His so-called Damascus Road experience where he was thrown to the ground and blinded by an encounter with a risen Christ who confronted him with the words, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? The saying is trustworthy and deserving of full acceptance that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners of whom I am the foremost, head of the class, chief. I was a blasphemer, persecutor, and insolent opponent. But I received mercy. To be fully devoted to Jesus is to understand that we desperately, desperately needed mercy and He gave it free. To not boil devotion to Jesus down to five easy steps or a set of seven principles all beginning with the same letter or even a list of spiritual exercises to put into practice, which frankly I believe in. I believe in spiritual exercises and daily devotion. Those are all the shell, that's the husk. The kernel has to do with motivation. Why would anyone be devoted to Jesus? Mercy showed up. I received mercy. I received mercy. And I, I think I'm describing most of us, honestly. Healing does not mean we forget it all. Okay? Healing means looking at it straight on and saying, I was forgiven. Really, I was really forgiven of all that stuff. What this means is, for me anyway, that we can't give up on anybody. We can't consign anybody to the flames of hell. That's not our place. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. And if Jesus can save me, he can save anybody. You know, mercy, mercy doesn't mean anything if you haven't sinned. The mercy of Jesus poured out on us. May it in fact break our heart again.